Welcome to Blues Rock Weekly, your source for what's going on in the world of blues rock. If you're new to the channel, we bring you the news in blues rock every single week, so make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with what's going on in the genre. Beth Hart has unveiled a new track called Little Heartbreak Girl, produced by Kevin Shirley. Beth has been open about her battles with mental health and said, quote, I'm so grateful for the unwavering support you've shown me during the challenging times I've faced over the last several months. I really want to give something in return, which is why I decided to share Little Heartbreak Girl, a song I recorded in Nashville last year. It's dedicated to everyone who stood by my side through it all, including all of you guys. Your love and understanding mean the world to me. Watch the music video at bluesrockreview.com. Joe Bonamassa has released a new live video for The Last Matador of Bayonne. It's from the upcoming album Live at the Hollywood Bowl with Orchestra out May 17th. The title for the track was inspired by Bayonne France. Bonamassa was touring back in 2010 and was playing amphitheaters that resembled Roman-style buildings. Joe said, quote, during one of these gigs, I was standing in one of the areas where the matadors were kept, and I saw this little door. So I opened it, and I saw this little prayer booth where I guess a matador would sit and pray before going out to face a bull. I started to think, who was the last guy to do this? It was a great concept for a song. Again, to think that you may die doing what you do for a living. Watch the music video at bluesrockreview.com. Blues Rock Review premiered the music video for Paul Benjamin's My Bad Side Wants a Good Time. It was recorded at Leon Russell's old studio in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's the title track from the upcoming album out June 7th. Benjamin said, quote, This song instantly became one of the most requested at live shows. One riff, one phrase that couldn't be stopped from also crowning the album title. See the music video at bluesrockreview.com. Sue Foley spoke with Blues Rock Review about her upcoming album, One Guitar Woman, out March 29th. It's a tribute to the female pioneers of guitar. Read the interview at bluesrockreview.com. Well, that's the week in Blues Rock. Let us know down in the comments section below what you're listening to this week and what new music are you looking forward to? We'd love to hear from you. As always, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode of Blues Rock Weekly. And please hit that like button. It really helps with YouTube's algorithm, gets the video out into more people's feeds. And with Blues Rock not being a mainstream thing, your support definitely goes a long way. We'll see you next time on Blues Rock Weekly.